<laughs> it's really good at it. I am the father. Hello there. So let's talk about Hayden Christensen and his Darth Vader costume behind the scenes of the Star Wars movies and shows. Let's start from the 2005 Revenge of the Sith. Here Hayden is in full Darth Vader costume for the first time. Hayden Christensen spent hours in the makeup chair each day to transform into Darth Vader in episode 3. The prosthetic makeup process took up to 4 hours to apply. He had to wear a special helmet with weights on it in order to prepare for the role. This helped him to get used to the feeling of wearing the heavy Darth Vader helmet. It was actually George Lucas' idea to make it top heavy. The Darth Vader helmet in Revenge of the Sith weighs approximately 12.2 kilograms or 26.9 pounds. The entire process of designing, prototyping, sculpting, molding and finalizing the Darth Vader helmet for Revenge of the Sith would have taken several months. Hayden drew inspiration from James Earl Jones' iconic performance as Darth Vader in the original trilogy. You don't know the power of the dark side. Oh yeah. Hayden Christensen gained 24 pounds for this movie. He did so by eating six meals a day. 17 years later, in 2022, he came back as Darth Vader in the Obi-Wan Kenobi show and continued his journey with the character. He worked with a movement specialist to develop a new physicality for Darth Vader. Christensen wanted to create a performance that was both menacing and believable, and he worked hard to get the character's movement just right. He found it challenging to act in the Darth Vader costume because it was too hot. Does it get hot? It's so hot, yeah. No, you're, you're sweating buckets in it the whole time. But this problem was fixed. Listen what Hayden says about Darth Vader's costume to Jimmy Fallon. Where if you get too hot, they plug you into this machine and it, it pumps uh, cooling liquid all around your body to sort of cool you down. By the way, there were no bathroom breaks in this suit, but it keeps getting better. They improve it with every sort of iteration. The suit was more flexible in Obi-Wan Kenobi than in Episode 3. Hayden wasn't the only who wore this costume for the show. There were also two stunt doubles who played Darth Vader on screen. Three, two, one, go! Well, that's all! Thanks for watching, like, subscribe, watch more videos, and see you next time! May the Force be with you! Take care!